All right, guys, I had a crazy Sunday this past Sunday. Like I said, we left from my place in Great Court, went to Charleston, South Carolina, then from Charleston, South Carolina, back to Great Court, South Carolina, then from Great Court, South Carolina, to Piedmont, South Carolina, then back to Great Court, then from Great Court, South Carolina, to Tennessee, then back to Great Court. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it was crazy amount of driving. I don't even know. It was, it was, it was like, but definitely worth it. Like I said, we got wheels for the C5 Corvette. We got a front bumper for the FDRX7, and possibly some more Z garbage stuff that I'll show you. Show you guys in a second. All right. Well, these are the wheels we went and picked up. Um, like I said, nothing, nothing fancy, but they will work for the Corvette. It'll be a, a decent fitment. And I have six of them, so it's gonna make for some good drift spares, which is what I'm hoping. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. That's a a 245-4018 that's on this tire right, or on this wheel right now, so should be okay. So I went and picked those up, and then on the way home from those, I found the bumper for the Montego car in Tennessee. Woo wee! So, there's no way I was gonna let that thing pass. Got it for a pretty good or, you know, decent deal. What I would say the bumper is actually worth, not, you know, the FD tax. So, minus FD tax, which is good. So, went and picked that up and went and picked up uh, something else. <laughs> it's not mine, but I'm gonna try to sweet talk the owner into uh, to letting me get it off of them. So, we'll have to see. Dun, dun. Walk back here past the graveyard. <laughs> Whew. It's a point of no return for vehicles back here, guys. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm like stomping. Hope the camera's not too shaky. This thing looks good. I'm gonna have to come out there some some sweet talking. But check this thing out. Look at this garbage. And I mean, it is garbage, but it's cool garbage. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, y'all was expecting something fancy, wasn't y'all? Like a 2JZ or LS or something. Nope. Told you it was garbage. But this is interesting. <laughs> like I said, I found this car, like I said, on my way back from getting the wheels also. And I didn't have the money to get it, but I know it was a really decent deal. So I shared it to a couple friends and one of them bought it. So like I said, I'm gonna try to get it off of them. We'll see. But I couldn't get my hands on my buddy's trailer, so we had to use this old junk. <laughs> and this is how we, we pulled this car back. Missing a whole entire end of the axle. Now it looks extremely low because it's sitting in grass and the front of the trailer's up. But pulling the truck, or pulling with the truck, it wasn't that bad. So, but it was still super sketchy. Yeah, not that I need this garbage, but I think the plan for this thing is to be parted out. And I don't know, to me it's savable. I think it'd be a cool car to have and to just slide around and just have another, another Z. Not that any one person needs two Zs. So I don't, I don't need it, I just want it, I guess. But it'd just be cool to have, you know, another, like a DE car, like a hat. I don't know why <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to make that quick video because i wasn't able to get anything posted for a sunday because like i said i think all in all it was like 15 hours of driving 
maybe maybe more i don't know it was like an all an all day thing so yeah didn't have much time to do anything <laughs> all right guys appreciate you watching and on the next video we're going to test fit those uh strs on the corvette and try to get that thing ready to actually go to a drift event i'd like to drift it one more time with stock angle and then move up to you know angle and coilovers and stuff like that just so i can see like the improvement of it because like i said it's sometimes last year when i got to drive so but all right i'm done rambling appreciate you